computer users find protecting their privacy and security to be quite a hassle, from memorizing hard-to-guess passwords to reading long and confusing privacy policies, security and privacy is difficult and annoying for users. My name is Lori Craner. I've been a faculty member at Carnegie Mellon since 2003. Most of my research is in the area of usable privacy and security. I do work on human factors relating to security and privacy. We've all seen privacy policies that are really long and full of legalese, and so nobody actually reads them. And so we've been looking at, is there a way to make them more useful and readable, maybe like a nutrition label? And so we've done some work uh, developing a nutrition label for privacy. So you may have noticed when you get your bank statement, sometimes there are these privacy policies with lots of fine print. And um, recently, banks have started putting them in a more standard table format. And so we've done some work where we've gone and collected thousands of these privacy policies automatically on the internet. And we've been analyzing them and trying to see whether we can automate the process of finding the banks with the best privacy policies. The Federal Trade Commission has been looking for ways to uh, help promote pr consumer privacy and help businesses uh, be more transparent about their privacy. And so uh, they've been very interested in our work. I've actually gotten to testify in front of Congress uh, another area that we're working in on the security side has to do with passwords. Everybody hates passwords and hates having to come up with these passwords that are going to be hard for an attacker to guess, but easy for them to remember. So we've been trying to find out what is the, the best way to get people to, to create passwords that are both usable and secure. And there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of websites that ask people to do crazy things with having lots of symbols and numbers and lowercase letters and uppercase letters. But uh, all of this is kind of based on folklore. There isn't really good data that suggests that this is the right thing to do. So we've been doing studies where we get thousands of people to create passwords. We've been doing this online with Amazon's Mechanical Turk service. And when people create these passwords, we get data about how hard it was for them to do it and how good the passwords were. And we try it all sorts of different ways with password meters. You know, does it help if you have a password meter? We even tried one where we had a dancing bunny as our password meter. And the better your password, the faster the bunny danced. And so we've collected data to see what are the factors that actually uh, cause people to create better passwords. I'm teaching a course called Usable Privacy and Security. We're looking at the research literature uh, in usable privacy and security. We're looking at things that companies are doing in real products and services. And by the end of the class, the students have to do a class project where they actually do a user study, where they're working with real people to address um, a real usable security and privacy problem.